Dang it. Screw you guys. I'm doing my math homework. Oh, we have to finish the song. I hate you guys. You know what I always wanted to do? Figure out the digits of pi beyond 3.14159265358979323846226? No. Determine the original state of the universe and how it began? No. We'll do those later. I always wanted to fill a pool full of jello! Awesome. That's a worthless idea! Oh! Dude, you broke my arm! So, what do we gotta find out next, guys? Well, we have to figure out the volume of the pool. Where can we find a pool? My house. To the next house! Da da da! Okay. equal to a fourth of a gallon. So that would mean that 60 cups equals a gallon. Now here's a visual representation. <laughs> For a cylinder is pi r squared times depth. So pi times 13.5 squared times 4 would be our volume. So if we plug in those numbers, what would the volume of the pool be? It equals 305.4 gallons. Oh, how's it going, Death? How are the kids? Good, I hope. What are you talking about? As you can see, this is our whole formula worksheet. The volume of the pool is pi r squared times depth. And this is 13.5 for our radius and 4 for the depth, thus equaling 2,123.7 feet cubed. The volume of jello per pack is a fourth of a gallon. Now, if we take the number from the pool and times it by 7.5 because that's the conversion from feet cubed to gallons we get 15,927.74 gallons in the pool. Take that number and times it by 4 for 4 packs of jello per gallon and we get 63,711 packets of jello. Now if we took a dollar and 69 cents for every packet of that we'd get about 107,671.59 cents. Uh, and now that we're done with that math problem, let's get back to what we were doing before. Oh, well, I have the instructions card. It says, Made in the USA. What does that mean? The force is with you. Oh, okay. You Don't. guys are my best pals. You know what? You guys are my best friends. Right now. What is? I have no queens. I fold. Go push. Full house. Dang. 